people say, oh, well, we want this. That's one reason that I, I and I'm with Stephen King on this, sorry, my kingdom is horror. Um, Stephen King says there has been very little really good horror that has come out of the studio. Amen. That's true. All the great horror films that you know come from independents. That's come true. They're willing to break the mold, and it's, it's kind of one person's vision. I mean, they're working with a group of people. But yeah. I, I think that run, you run into a lot of problems in Hollywood with that. And that's very, very true. I mean, even the, even the classic yeah. big horror films that you think may have come from a studio were actually independent yeah. films that were independently financed. Yeah. The Shining yeah. was yeah. an independent film. Yes. You know. uh, Night of the Living Dead, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original Halloween. They were distributed by major studios, yeah. but they were literally financed by, by small groups of individuals who were really working together towards a common goal. And I think that's where, yeah. when, especially when you're adapting something that big, you get too many hands in the pies. And, yeah. Oh, well, we ought to make uh, you know, uh, Superman fight polar bears in the Fortress of Solitude. Well, no! Yeah. <laughs> no! So, because of that, those problems, I don't think that you're ever going to get a live action anime that's worth anything. That's worth that's worth any here's the most important thing. That's worth any of your dollars. Uh, you work hard for your money, yes. as the song goes. So don't spend it on on something that's not worth it. Yeah. And those movies aren't going to be worth it because of the things that yeah. we're talking about. It's it's not it's, it's, it's just not worth it. Just be happy with what you have that, that is something that you love. It's like yeah. the new movie Extendables. I mean, they have all these great actors. The movie sucked. Really? Uh, yeah. See, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. It I was thought it was just fun and campy and silly. I, I haven't seen it. I know a lot of people got upset because, uh, a lot of people got upset because, uh, uh big guy, the wrestler. Um, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke has this monologue, by the end of it, he's crying. He's talking about something absolutely tragic. Yeah, and it even made you made Mickey Rourke weepy, and I was like, okay. Well, yeah, the character was, okay. was appropriate. Yeah. The, the one thing I will say about Expendables, and yeah, there were parts that I was like, eh. the most interesting. I've never been. I've always thought Sylvester Stallone was very ugly. <laughs> I have. I just it's thought true. he was an ugly, and yeah. facially ugly. As he has gotten older. His face has got so much character now that he's older and hasn't done all the Botox and the facelifts and stuff like that. He is really interesting to look at on screen. And I was like, going, wow. That's cool. It's been so long since I've actually seen him on screen. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Know, I, I, I want to see it. I'm, I'm it's, I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. It was, you, it's one of those where you can go, okay, I don't need this. Yeah. And just sit back and, you know. They could have, with the actors that have, they could have done a lot better. Oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, so often, I, so often I go see movies and I'm disappointed. But you know what? This is a lot of the reason why this is all part of the same subject. Oh, yeah. um, the other day, the other day I was watching Starman. Anybody yeah, seen Starman? Starman? Star 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 no one? I love Starman. Star Star Awesome, yeah, right. Yeah. She's seen it. Okay, look, Starman is one of my, if not my favorite filmmakers, uh, John Carpenter. Okay. His movies are brilliant. Not all of them, mind you, but a lot of them. Yeah, most of them. But uh, they don't have the best special effects because uh, he couldn't, he didn't have a whole lot of money for a lot of his films. But what was, what's great about it is. Uh, the way he does it, the way he tells his stories, and it's all about the storytelling. Yes, it's all absolutely. about the characters. And it's all yes. about the journeys that they take. That's what filmmaking or anime, or a television show, uh, books, everything yes. that you read is about the journey of the characters yes. that you love and care about. And care about. Absolutely. It's not about computer generated effects. No. And I've noticed that <laughs> computer generated effects tend to equal. A crappy movie, and almost the opposite is true. That bad effects generally equal a pretty good movie because it's obvious that they cared enough about the story and the characters to just go ahead and tell the damn story anyway, 
even given that they had chromium guts. Well, yeah. If I can interject. Um, sure. I see. Do you see the thing? Of course. Yes. And those numbers, but they were practical. They were practical effects. But they were practical effects. They weren't all computer generated. Oh, same here. Same here. Yes. When that stomach opens up yes. with the teeth, oh, 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 I love that. Still in my I actually, I actually went on a double date with that. Uh, my date actually got sick and threw up. Uh, oh, man, when I saw when I saw the thing yes. the first time. I was actually in a drive-in watching Rocky III, and I was sitting on the roof of my parents' station wagon. They were watching Rocky III that way, and I was watching the thing over here. And uh, they didn't know that, you know, however old I was in 1983, and 89 years old, whatever. Um, it's the year I graduated. Shh. You've got socks over the new veil. Stop, stop. I'm wearing them. If you don't talk, you don't age. That's what I've learned. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't, I'm, I'm 45. I don't look at active or dating. So. No, you don't. You don't. If you don't talk about how much order we're getting, it doesn't. I don't care. <laughs> Thank uh, you. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, I, I, I turned and I watched it. It was silent. And I remember wow. seeing that. And, and, just, <gasps> and it was uh, a few years before I could actually watch the film with sound. But once I did, I was stuck. But again, that movie cost very little money yep. to make. Compared to today's films. And I hear they're being remade. Well, they yeah. fell through. They were, it? Yeah, they, they were going they were gonna remake it. Actually they were gonna they were gonna reboot it. Yeah. They were gonna sequelize it. Yeah, a lot. And it was actually gonna be sound pretty awesome. Really? But unfortunately again, they were gonna sequelize it using CGI. And you know what makes that movie so damn scary is that all of that stuff was shot right. live on set. And it looks yep. organic too. It looks yes. organic. Yep. There's nothing organic about computer generated special that's, effects. That's why Terry Gilliam for years fought CGI. He, he's, he's embracing it a little more, but still not. Terry Gilliam likes to do things practically. If you look at Time Bandits, oh that shot is so Go to the, it just goes ever up the castle. Uh huh. Was all a model right. that was shot literally. I mean, it was these miniature models that was shot practically. And, right. And I'm sorry, the, the detail and the work, you know. But you can, I mean, you look at when CGI started. And from then on, you can see a significant decline. In, in storytelling, yes. in the quality of the films that are coming out. But here's the flip side of that. You can see a dramatic increase in the quality of television. Yes. I was about to say that. Which is awesome. Yes. Because television is... It's big and compact, but it's, it's basically free. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you have to pay yeah. your service now, but you don't have to pay for a program. Well, I was, was going to make the comment that I was going to make yeah. in regard to that is that uh, I just recently got back into an old fan, and that's Doctor Who. Yes. Yeah. I just, I just, I was, I was a Baker guy, and when Baker left the series, so did I. And I had not watched it. Everyone said, "Oh, Chris, you." You need to see Chris Eccleston in it. Yes. You need yes. to see. You need to see that. I'm like, no, no, I don't want to. And finally, it was Michael Tatum, who is a big Who fan, who convinced me to so like Chris. You like horror? I'm just going to show you this one episode called Blink. That's one of the angels, right? Oh, yes, yeah. That, yeah, that's what the we the angels. You do, don't blame I was like, that was scary. I'm like, hell. this looks like a movie. This is this is shot and looks like a. I'm used to the old special effects and the. the and I was reading an interview about the original as opposed to now, and they knew they had crappy special effects. They had, you know, the, the makeup was not going to be the greatest little back of the Baker that were And the way they made up for it was with solid storytelling, which I'm happy to say still hangs on to this day with the new series. And the cast just had as much fun and as much energy as they could put into it as 
that's what made the Baker series so much fun. I went back and watched several of the old Bakers and was like, you know what? Yes, the effects are crap, but this is still so much fun to watch because it's it's character driven, it's story driven, yeah. and, you know. And you just you can't get away from that. Uh, it was so sad when the that doctor decided not to be the doctor anymore. I really like. Although I've heard that I've, a lot of people I know really like the new guy as well. He is. And don't be like me. I know a lot of people that like the doctor after Tom Baker. Uh, I know. And I would give him a chance. The latest guy or the one before him? The 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 the, 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 the new guy. The new guy's good. I give him a chance. But I, but I wouldn't give the guy after Baker a chance. I said, I'm like, no, he's blonde. That is not the doctor. <laughs> and I stopped watching. Yeah, and that's what I've heard. I've heard he was very good. So I will probably go back and check those out. You should watch them. They're very good. I, I, I just... I can't. Okay. I, 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 I've tried. I mean, and, and I'm mean. I'm mean. Uh, you I'm should try Torchwood. Torchwood is good. You should try Torchwood. They're coming out with the Let's new see series, the too. When did Doctor Who start? Oh, well, okay. well, see, you don't have to. See, I was in your same boat. I was like, you know, I want to watch the new Doctor Who, but I want to watch the original stuff first. So I was going to wait. Then I finally watched, you know, Torchwood. I'm like, that's really good. I got to go ahead and go back and watch okay, the new I, stuff. I will say this. Doctor we're, we're kind of at a, a, a convention that is multi Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I will say this. Um, I, there is a series that I avoided watching for years. I put it off for years. Only last November did I finally say, okay, you know what? Josh really twisted my mind. Made me watch, he made me watch the pilot, and I was kind of, uh, kind of like they did with Doctor Who. I finally watched um, Firefly. Oh, oh. Yeah. Now hang on, now hang on. Here's my reason for not watching Firefly. I wonder if it's for the same reason. I go to a lot of conventions, and I go to a lot of multi-genre conventions. And I got really, really tired of it. My, my brother is the same way. My brother still refuses to watch for that reason. Oh, wait, the, the, the movie, the series was Firefly, the, the movie was Serenity. And I did watch them in the correct order. I watched Firefly first, then Serenity. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, here's the thing. I get really tired of people at multi-genre cons kind of, well, you know, science fiction is so much better than anime. Anime, And it's really an argument. I like both, so you know what? Screw you. So, but there is something you can do that is like tossing a hand grenade. And that is, you look at them and you say, oh yeah, if science fiction is so good, then why was Serenity canceled? Or why, why was Firefly canceled? You can literally go three, two, one. Well, I want to talk and they just go bananas. <laughs> and I love, like my brother does, I love having that grenade <laughs> to just toss. Now I can't do that. Because now I'm really angry that they canceled it as well. So, well, well, I know, because I mean, they, they showed it out of order. Well, I, mean, I know why it was canceled. Yeah. And In part, yes, they didn't show the pilot, they showed watching. the train job. Yeah, course, but then, they, uh, if you look on the box set, they yeah, didn't even yeah. do it in order after that. See, there, it's there, like there, episode yeah. one, seven, five. And again, that I started watching it, I mean, I started watching it too. 